Well, there's a tiny, furry little creature lurking in the trees, one that packs quite a wallop if it stings you. All new at 6, our Eric Waxler has more on the insect that causes so much pain. The hungry, hungry caterpillar, it's not. No cute stories to tell about this insect that may look harmless. It's known as the Puss Caterpillar. It's named so because of its cat-like fur. But Dr. Alfred Allegris, director of the Florida Poison Information Center, says that fur is covered in venom. Avoid touching them if they can. If they've already been stung, uh, what they can do is try and remove the spines using a piece of tape. Experts say those little hairs deliver a sting more painful than bees, jellyfish, or even scorpions. You can develop a pretty good local reaction with some swelling, uh, hives even, uh, but a searing pain. Hope Wooten and her two young boys are at the park all the time, and these kids love to play with all kinds of creatures. Oh, frogs, lizards, you know, spiders. <laughs> right. But the Tampa mom says she'll be on the lookout for the furry caterpillars that hang out on leaves and can be trouble if you're walking through brush. I didn't realize that um, there were so many calls to poison control that it was so uh, prevalent. The puss caterpillars are out in force this time of year. Texas has seen a rise in the number of ER visits, and the Florida Poison Center is getting its share of calls, too. Well, it's a protection mechanism for them, and there are a number of different stinging caterpillars, probably 50, sting 50 different species of stinging caterpillars in the U.S. ICE is also recommended to reduce swelling. If you have questions or need help, call the Florida Poison Information Center at 1-800-222-1222. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.